What's up guys, this is Eric here with the very first video of this year of this decade from Freelance Pakistan's YouTube channel and wherever you are watching this video from, either you are uh, from the other part of the world or you are from this South Asian region or if you are from Pakistan, I wish you guys, your families and your friends a very happy and blessed new year from myself and from the Freelance Pakistan team as well. As you guys know that a lot of people have been saying, the astrologists, the researchers that this year is going to be a really successful and uh, a really good year uh, of the time and also as Sir Farooq said that this year the year 2020 is your year is my year and it is freelance Pakistan's year so let's just work together work hard and make this year the best year of our life and the most successful year of the time and um, and with this message in this short video I would uh, show you guys how to make a really cool and fun uh, new year themed uh, landing page uh, using the DV theme uh, so without further ado let's get started okay guys so uh, here I am at the dashboard of my local host uh, so let's just quickly uh, create a new page here and uh, let's just name uh, it like for example let's just name it as welcome 2020 and hit publish like this and simply let's just uh, start our DV builder here and we're gonna create this page from scratch our DB builder has loaded up and for now um, what we're gonna do here is that uh, we're just simply going to open up this default section settings here and um, I'm going to add a background color to it uh, something like this blue color because it represents the winter and the new year theme as well uh, so I'm gonna um, hit save here and then I'm going to add a new row here maybe and uh, let's just add a single row here a single column row here and uh, add an image module here like this and for the image I'm using uh, I'm using this happy new year uh, image and I downloaded this image from Pixabay. It's a PNG image and it is free for commercial use image. Uh, so this image looks uh, a little bit too big uh, on our website. So let's just go to design, sizing and uh, decrease its width to something like, uh, let's just say 60% here and change the alignment to center. And uh, to make uh, its color white, what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to go to the filters option here and I'm going to change uh, the invert slider to 100% and here you go. Uh, it's in white now. So looks cool. Now I'm going to hit save here. Uh, so I have this uh, white image here that says Happy New Year but it still doesn't look so good. Uh, so let's just open up our section settings again and this time add a bottom divider to our section and uh, maybe let's just change the border style uh, to something like this and uh, increase the divider height to something like 180 pixels okay uh, now let's just add a new uh, row here and um, let's just again add a single column row here and add a text module module in it and uh, change the text to something like it's the year 2020 like this and change its style to heading 2 go to design open up heading 2 uh, design settings and uh, change the font to yesteryear so this is the font that I'm using and make the font style to italic and uh, let's just say change the color to white and change the font size to something like 50 pixels hit enter now open up the row settings here go to design uh, maybe or go to content and open up background settings and change the background color to something like this now go to design uh, sizing and decrease the width to something like let's just say 42 percent like this okay and uh, and uh, let's just add a border to our 
column as to our row as well and the border style that we're going to use is going to be the double border style and the border width should be uh, about around 7 pixels or maybe 8 pixels and the border color uh, let's just change it to the same color that we used for our background color like this now hit save changes and simply change the alignment of our text uh, to center align like this okay so it looks cool and um, now what uh, what we can do is that uh, let's just add a new section here and uh, maybe add this type of uh, row structure and here add a text module and let's just add a heading uh, for example let's just say uh, grab our awesome new year deals and change its style to heading 2 as well go to design and uh, go to heading 2 and just change the font to something like Georgia and maybe change the font weight to semi bold make it italic and change the color to something like this cool uh, so once we have our text ready now let's just decrease the sizing uh, the margin from the right uh, from the left side like this and um, add a new text here the body text here and simply increase the body text size to around 15 pixels like this and um, now let's just add an image here and the image I'm gonna add here is uh, going to be of a present box of a gift box here and I downloaded this image from uh, Pixabay as well so you can download this image um, from Pixabay as well and for this image I'm going to decrease its width to something like this and um, I'm going to change the module alignment to centered I'm gonna hit save and uh, and now I'm going to add uh, a negative margin to this image so I'm gonna go to the spacing option and add a negative margin uh, of about uh, something like minus 50 pixels like this and now here I'm going to add a button uh, which will lead our users to our shop page so we're gonna uh, add a text uh, which says that grab now like this and then we can add the link to our shop if we have any um, in this bar here so for the design uh, use custom style for button and here I'm going to increase the size to something like 23 pixels and for that normal uh, text color I'm going to change it to this red and on hover I want it to change to white like this and for the button background color I want uh, it to uh, to remain transparent on normal and on hover I want it to change to this red color here like this cool now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna change the button font uh, to Oswald like this and the font weight to light and um, I don't want to add a button icon and uh, add a negative letter spacing to this text as well uh, for example negative one pixels uh, letter spacing uh, to this text as well and maybe decrease the text size to around 22 pixels like this okay so we have our um, button ready now let's just um, increase the size of our image so that it looks cool like this and maybe uh, adjust the negative margin as well so uh, let's just say we change it to something like 35 uh, pixels like this looks pretty cool and we can also adjust the height of our border as well and um, we have this uh, really simple landing page uh, ready almost ready now what we can do here is that we can simply uh, add a 
uh, new row here let's just say add a new row here and um, add a divider and show divider yes we want to show the divider go to design line change the line color to something like this and the line style to something like um, let's just say dashed and then increase the weight of our uh, divider to something like this and uh, then simply increase the margin from top to something like this uh, we can also uh, make it full width if we want to but we're for, for now we're gonna uh, go and uh, stay with this design now I'm going to uh, make this a little bit creative by um, adding a row which has two equal columns and in each column I will add a uh, counter uh, and the counter and the type of counter that I'm going to use is going to be uh, the number counter like here and the numbers that we are going to use are going to be 20 like this the text we're going to add a title that says 20 elements we don't want to use the percent sign and for the design I'm just simply going to increase the number text uh, size to something like uh, 113 pixels and change the color uh, to this and uh, let's just uh, remove the title here like this and um, copy this module here uh, bracket here and then change its color uh, to something like uh, let's just say to something like this and now I'm gonna decrease the margin between these two columns by simply opening up our row settings going to uh, sizing use custom gutter width and decrease the custom gutter width like this and also decrease the width so that they the both columns come near each other like this now uh, let's just hit save and uh, add a text uh, here a text module here uh, which says year full of success this is what our text is going to say change the heading to heading 3 and uh, go to design heading text heading 3 change the alignment to center uh, change the font to something like uh, Georgia uh, to something like uh, to something like Georgia and increase the size make it bold or maybe make it semi bold and change the color to this red like this we can also uh, change the number text font as well so let's just say we change it to uh, Oswald and change this one to Oswald as well like this and hit save changes and now let's just simply um, copy this button module here and drag it here and open up its settings change the button text to uh, visit site and simply change the alignment to center and hit save uh, so this is a really simple landing page that we have created and then we can add a custom footer if you want to uh, but uh, as I said it's just going to be a simple and short video uh, to just give you an idea that we are still here and to greet you for this ha uh, for this new year and also uh, to give you a f uh, to give you an idea that uh, what kind of creative things that we can build or we can design using the DB theme I hope that you learned something useful from this video and in the upcoming video I will walk you guys through that how I made my website my personal website and uh, I will uh, take you guys through all the steps that I took to design this really simple and really elegant style website and um, and I will also show you guys that how uh, I added this typing effect animation so till then keep learning keep earning a very happy and blessed new year um, take care Allah Negevan and Z out